to the spring edition of Bray's Sportscast. I'm your host, Diego. And I am Claude. We have a great show for you today, wrapping up winter sports. We'll also be previewing the spring sports. Let's get started with our first story. These two brothers and their love for racing also brought competition between the two. Suhab and Musab Farouk are two brothers who share a passion for running. They often race against each other and compare medals and wins to one another. Their parents support them both and have one favorite runner. They both run their hearts out and leave it on the track, field, road, anywhere they run. Well, obviously I'm the faster runner because I have about two years on him in experience. Two years of track and a year of cross on him. <laughs> it's obvious that it's me. They, they love me more. They. They think I'm better than him. It's obvious. I don't think that's how it works. I have I got six medals this year. I'm pretty sure I have more medals. I have nine. I think. Oh, because I have more years on him, so I got more medals. You see it? I could run till I die. I can definitely run till I die. Well, we we've achieved a lot this like for this winter alone. We've done. Um, uh, I'm reaching my 400 mile mark this winter. Uh, and like we've set a lot of great records, personal records. He's running his first nine and ten mile run, so that's a great distance. I ran my first, ran my first twelve mile run too. Yeah. That's what you want so um, we we both got it. From the track to the mats, we have one thirty eight pound junior Harry Sellers placed third at SSE Wrestling Conference. Harry was a runner up and second place at regionals. He also won four matches in a row at sectionals to qualify him for IHSA tournament at the University of Illinois. This was Harry's first experience downstate at, far at State Farm Center in Champaign, Illinois. Although Sellers did not come out with the victory, he still gave it his all and fought very hard on those mats. Harry plans to try again next year, his last year to bring home the victory. Good luck next year, Harry. Uh, putting the work in, um, practicing hard, showing up to practice every day. That's about it. I think I did all right. I wish I could win more. That's about it. I would work on my shots and stuff better. Congratulations to our very own Palms team for competing in and placing at the Andrew Sectional State Tournament. The girls placed sixth out of the total 17 teams competing. That certainly is a great finishing place for a state level tournament. This led them to qualifying for the state competition at Illinois State University. Nice job, ladies, and keep up the good work. The varsity cheerleaders recently completed another successful season. Accomplishments include third place finish at conference and second state qualifying for the competition in Bloomington. While competing in Bloomington, the girls managed to finish 14th place. They also tumbled their way with the South Suburban Conference Blue Sportsmanship Award. The wrestling program had another successful season. The road to the postseason began at conference where 138-pounder junior Harry Sellers placed third and 195-pounder Michael L. Gravy placed third. At regionals, Sellers placed second while 160-pound junior Kanye Sheffin also qualified at sectionals. Sellers won at a remarkable four matches in a row to qualify for the IHSA state tournament at the University of Illinois. On the wrestling lower levels of freshman Mo Betancourt avenged the previous loss to Oak Forest, capturing the Junior Varsity Conference title at 192 pounds. First-year wrestler Terrell Neely pinned his way to a third-place finish at 145 pounds, while 126-pounder Justin Lenore and first-year 152-pounder wrestler Nolan Dreher finished fourth. This is the first time in recent history the wrestling Braves have had four medalists at conference. Now, the Braves bowling team, ladies Braves bowling team, had another successful season. Finishing nine wins and six losses on varsity, and 11 wins and three losses on junior varsity. Goes to show with hard work comes strong team and much success. The fresh sophomore girls bowled, bowling team captured championship title at the conference tournament held at Oak Forest Bowl. This is the second year in a row and the fifth time out of the last six seasons that the team won conference. The team averaged a solid 739 throughout the tournament. Standout bowlers were Melissa Bellstrom, Ian, and well, as well as Tyan, all finished in the top 10, making 2016 all-conference athletes. The girls worked really hard all year to accomplish the win. Most girls have never bowled before, so seeing, seeing them do good in a short period of time was amazing, said Coach Flood. Kevin is a junior in high school, he plays water polo, and has been on the team all three years and is working toward getting a scholarship for McKendree University. 
If he's able to get the scholarship, he would be one of the three high school students able to get the scholarship each year. In order to get the scholarship, he needs to get a grade point average of 3.0 or higher and at least a 22 on his ACT. I think with all the work that I've put in in the offseason, it should help me be able to achieve my scholarship. First off, I'm definitely going to have to at least make my sectional team at least for the colleges to be looking at me more to give myself that scholarship opportunity. Good luck to Kevin and the rest of the water polo team. This season is upcoming, coached by Mike Klein. The boys' baseball has started conditioning, and the baseball team has high expectations for the 2016 season. With a depth pitching staff, the Braves are looking for another run at playoffs. Senior infielder Matthew is one of our Bremen Braves baseball players. His goal is to have a batting average of 400 and hit five home runs and win at least five games pitching. But how does one prepare for such goals? Uh, you gotta work out, get in the weight room, do your conditioning. Uh, you got to do work on your own, go up and hit, throw, get lessons if you have to. The girls softball conditioning has started. The girls softball are very energetic and have good chemistry. They also have good goals and expectations this season, like behaving with integrity, exhibiting pride in their team and school, playing by the rules, setting challenging and realistic goals, and also developing a winning attitude. Varsity coaches are right back in Coach Fuentes, sophomore coach is Coach Kamen, and freshman coach is Coach French. We asked Precious what is the hardest part about preparing for a big game. To come together as your team, get pumped up, have energy, and be loud, have confidence. I think that's the hardest thing to do. When the pins fa stop falling this bowling season, one bowler is determined to save kids' lives. Jacob is a sophomore who is raising money for St. Baldrick's Foundation. He's growing his hair out in the fight to end cancer. This is not the first time Jacob has raised money for St. Baldrick's. Last year, he raised $1,230 to help find a cure for cancer. You know, my family's been affected by it. Um, I know people who've been affected by it. And sadly, I've lost friends by it. Um, and not just because of that, just because of the cure. I mean, we all want to find a cure, and simply just that. He was able to raise the most money out of the entire school last year. Now the date that he's going to be shaving his head is March 18th. If you want to see him get his head shaved or other participants get their head shaved, it'll be in the gymnasium from 2 to 3 o'clock. If you're interested in signing up to join the fight to end cancer, you can go to www.stbaldrix.org or you can help Jacob by searching Jacob Conway in the search bar on St. Baldrick's website. And now ladies and gentlemen, we have a special competition for you. That's right, we have three state qualifying captains from three sports. Or in other words, we have the palms and cheer captains wrestling each other while the wrestler cheers the two on. We're just kidding, folks, but we do have three state qualifying captains. Okay, now from Braves Sportscast headquarters, here they are, Sydney, Abby, and Harry interviewing each other. <laughs> What do you eat before a competition? A ham sandwich. Something like usually a granola bar or a bagel. If you didn't participate in the sport that you did, what would you do? Uh, I did softball before cheerleading, so maybe softball. I agree with Abby. Where I'll be working. What music do you listen to to get yourself pump pumped up before the competition? Rock. I usually listen to Jesse's girl. <laughs> what is you, what, what's your motivation to keep you going? I mean, doing what you're doing. I don't know. Um, to make my parents proud. Um, my teammates and my coaches. Um, what got you into the sport you do? Uh, my dad. Yeah, my dad was a dancer. What's, what is your favorite memory from your sport? Uh, making it to state. Um, conference when we finally hit a routine and our parents were all excited and screaming. What's your most embarrassing memory from your sport? At sectionals, I tumbled and I stepped off the mat and then I messed up the timing for the jumps. Uh, last year at conference, I like tripped over myself and I fell. I got back up and started dancing. 
Um, how old were you when you first started competing? Four. Uh, do you enjoy your teammates? Yes. Yep. <laughs> all right, thanks for being on the show, and congratulations again for making it to state. Well, that's all the time we have for this month. Make sure to check us out on our website at www.bdtv228.net for additional content by searching BDTV228. You can also like us on Facebook by searching the Bremen District Television. Be sure to stay tuned for next month, a Braze Sportscast. Until, for, Die for Claude, I'm Diego. See you next month.